hello everyone today i am going to show you how to register the data in mysql docker container which means how to mount the data volume part to the mysql container okay from this video i am going to show you all how to create a data volume for mysql docker container the best way of handling the data volume in docker container is keep the data in a separate container and using by another containers i mean other containers which they call data volume container so let me show you the step by step procedure to create a data volume container for mysql and how to access the mysql database and also if the mysql container has been deleted and create one second and also the mounted part which keeps the data as it is whatever we have created so these are the things i'm going to show you now okay uh, the first step we have to pull the docker images let me take you into my linux console by using docker pull command download the mysql docker image from the docker up repository i am pulling the latest mysql server so the docker image will download into your machine it won't take much time um, if your internet connection is very speed the docker image will download immediately next step execute the command docker images to view the list of docker images available okay the mysql docker images are available now in my machine and then this is the command to create a mysql data volume container so here by using the command docker create and then the volume path is where lib mysql i am going to give the name for this data volume container is mysql data and then which refers the which um, mysql image so the mysql image the repository name and tag name we have to provide i am going to create a new data volume container by using this command if you execute docker ps a command you can see the container i mean data volume container has been created here okay now this is the time to run the mysql docker container and this is the command to run the mysql docker container uh, just to see here uh, i am using the docker run command okay docker run and the port number already the 3306 is running in my machine i want to change it as 3307 if you uh, if you were uh, port 3306 is free then you can use the same one and then the environmental variable the mysql root password so if you are not provide this root password in the environmental variable you have to take the default generated password from the docker logs i'm giving the default root password and then the volume from so we have created the docker volume which named the mysql data i mean mysql docker volume container we have created right this is the name mysql data we have to provide and then the mysql database container name i would like to give mysql db and then this is the repository name and then the tag name so execute this command okay so if you execute the command docker ps you can see the mysql database is running okay now this is the time to log in into the mysql database by using the docker exe command docker exe it and then this is the mysql container name the mysql db okay so we are in the inside of the container now i'm going to execute the mysql command to log in into the database and then this is the command to log in mysql iphone user to and then the password i have used in the environmental variable mysql root password same thing i'm going to provide root okay so here now i'm going to create a new database called um, something we can create create database the database name is 
new my database of first database my first database it will be fine right my first database execute the command show databases show databases okay in my first database is available in the mysql database and running as a docker container i'm going to come out from the terminal and come out from the ins container i mean i came out from the container okay we can delete the mysql db container without affecting our data in mysql data i mean the docker volume container to test the data volume container delete the mysql db container then run a new container mysql db1 okay now i am going to delete the mysql db container and going to create a another one okay then i want to use docker ps i want to delete the container docker or on my fnf mysql db okay now i am going to run the new mysql container with the name mysql db1 but the volume path is mysql data okay now i am going to log in into the database once again by using the command docker exit and mysql db1 okay now i am going to execute the mysql login command this is the command mysql iphone user and for, okay something password is root okay now i am going to execute the command show databases see the my first database has been there okay come out come out and then this is my terminal so we have used the data volume container for the mysql container successfully thank you for watching this video subscribe my youtube channel like my videos and share my videos also you can follow me on facebook and also you can follow my blog via email this blog link has been given in the video description section just subscribe my blog thank you very much see you on next video